So today we're gonna to be dealing with nightlife in Dar es Salaam. Without wasting time, let's get started. This video is divided by four categories. So anyway, nothing much, roll the intro. So the first thing that you wanna know is nightclubs. Dar es Salaam is known for big nightclubs. I've actually seen elements and other places, tips, they're all available in Dar es Salaam. And the best part is that they get good, they have good, good security. So if you are looking for those stars like going to club, and the good thing is that we have also good meals. But one of the things that is actually my concern is that when you go to those night those nightclubs, the way they supply the food sincerely, it's a good welcoming way. But one of the things that is a big problem. They have a little amount of food, like the chicken that we had ordered that day, uh, it was very small. By the way, uh, I just did go there for this video and I'm not a big fan of nightclubs and stuff, just to let you know, so don't mark me wrong. But what I'm trying to say is, at that place for sure, you will really enjoy the place if you like good music and like all those lights and stuff. Like, it's a good place, like this was tipsy as you can see, they call it tips, tips, yeah, tips. Yeah, that's the place. It's actually it's actually open every single day, mostly crowded on the weekends. Like, or if it's a it's a literally like a, a, what should they call it? It's a holiday thing. And by the way, there are a lot of places that you could go. Like, Elements is also one of the good places that you can visit. I've seen people going there, and I've, I I did once go there, but that time when I went it was in the afternoon, so I didn't experience like that clubbing thing. And I'm not a club person, so I'll literally not see that it's a good one for those who are not interested. So let's get to the second thing. That is wedding. Exactly, you had me right. African weddings. Actually, if you, I think some of you might be actually familiar with those videos that I've been posting on wedding in Africa. African weddings. So if you're a traveler and just by coincidence you are into those kind of style or you're interested in such stuff, let me know because I have a lot of people who are welcoming to their wedding and I literally just say yes if I have time and no if I don't have time. So there are some things that literally got me amazed in some of the weddings like these people are holding a snake. It's a cultural way and the best part inside an African wedding is the moment the way they celebrate and they dance with an African cultural way. I think that's the thing that you really actually I think most of the travelers who are coming to Tanzania or African they are really missing this issue. See most of them they don't get to attend African weddings but what they see is what in the internet is showing them probably some I don't know weird weird things but trust me African weddings really got some amazing things and some of the weddings that I've already attended and they really got me amazed like they had three sub celebration they were actually celebrating in the church they celebrated another celebration inside the small it was actually yeah celebration in Kigoma in a, in a small church thing celebration that was a church related then there's another one hosted at night the big one that was very big for real like that thing and actually in the weddings actually the best part is actually at the end also because people get really crazy because with the dancing the cultural way that's just the beginning but at the end also people you know african is known for their yeah you understand right so they really get to dance and they're really like uh they really get to dance for real yeah. so i think most of the travelers really who come to tanzania or come to africa they don't really get that expensive but if you're really interested in getting to know such stuff just let me know down in the comment section or just hit me up on the instagram and if you're here actually or you did have a plan, you can just let me know and then I'll help, I'll help you on how to get in an African wedding because I get out of invitations but I just tend to like deny them. And plus you won't need even to pay a single shilling. Yeah, you heard me correct, you won't pay for the entrance and stuff for the wedding thing because I've already taken care of that. Either I paid or it's an invitation so it's for free. But if you want to experience it's not a bad. But if you go there as a foreigner and you're a white person, I'm not just being arrested, I'm just saying the truth. You might get some little attention, so you'll be welcoming me to sell something. Wait, anyway, cut this. So literally, the wedding issue. Yeah, that's the thing. So number three, what I wanna talk about is the night jam, night traffic jam. For real, if you're a person who uses public transport, you're gonna know this. Especially if you're actually at Tanzania, you really know how the way it gets crowded in nightlife in Dar es Salaam. Actually, even some, no, mostly happening in Dar es Salaam. Other, other, other regions, they really, really, really have like jams at night. Of course, you do have some of the times that you get jammed in the afternoon, but literally at night is that's when it gets a lot of crowded. And even it gets crowded. And that's why, even when you asked me about Mondokasi, I did tell you, you should not use Mondokasi at night. You can just use the bolt issue, the bolt app, sorry. 
So if you use that, it's gonna be much more convenient. If you haven't seen that video, I talked about the transmission in Tanzania, be sure to check in the channel on the cards or on the comments or on the description probably just follow the channel and just check it out check that video for you go check that video yourself because i have explained all the things that we transport in tanzania so back to the point is that you literally you need to get away from the night movement because that night movement is very crowded sometimes even some accidents happen i'm not just saying i'm just saying not in a good way but sometimes accidents happen when they happen at night that's when things get more crowded and you will rarely be able to move from one place to another and that's the bad news but anyway for experience if you want to see the way it gets jammed up for real you can go and try that for yourself but i personally would not recommend you going for a night walk okay night walk is possible but night vehicle movement is really bad unless you're using a motorcycle that's the best option you can get at night so that's the best recommendation i even did say on my other video of transportation in Tanzania. So the other thing is night street food. Of course, I did post some of the, um, should I call the shots? Yeah, the shots. I post some of the shots that I actually tell you, but you literally can't sometimes figure out if I'm gonna make a video for that. But trust me, the night food in Tanzania, it's what you really wish to see and what you really wish to experience. Though some of them can get your stomach crazy, Especially like those meat that they sell, sometimes they really get your, your stomach crazy so you need to have something like a metronidazole or tinidazole, something that can, you know, it's like something that can boost your stomach immunity, like fight the germs and stuff. So if you want to try night food, really you can try that. Some of the chips in my eye, I think you have seen so many people actually making content in tap. The content about Africa, they really talk about that. Especially those specifically saying about Africa and East Africa specifically inside there. You can use that and it's quite, I think most of the places that you, if you buy to smile, it's really going to bring a stomach issue. But Mishkaki thing, that's the problem starting there. Like the Mishkaki, you could get them for 500 as for 500 and above, that's an okay. But if you get for 200 and stuff, for 200 Tanzanian shillings, a Mishkaki is a really knockoff. Sincere. I'm not being bad, but I'm just saying so. My experience with the 200 ones are really not good, but the one that starts from 500 and above, they've been very good until 5,000 some places. Depends on the luxurious way. By the way, we did go to some of the places that we got some luxurious food, and that place is called Barra Beach. I wish I had a video specifically for that one, but since it's not that much talked about, so I'm gonna just hook it right here as the food thing. So that's one of the places that we did go, and uh, that was a very good experience. Their food was awesome. They have this place whereby you can just take a photo. If you haven't seen that, I don't know if I've this time posted already. I think I've already posted that in Instagram. Probably have seen such photo like this. It was in Barra Beach. So in that place, of course, uh, you can literally find the good experience of food. But it's a little bit far away from the main town. So you kind of need a lot of... Uh, I think you're going to use a boat. You can use a boat app that will take, will take you straight forward from wherever you are in the center of the town to the Barra Beach. Anyway, they are not sponsoring this video just to know. So that's the thing. I think that's all that we have for today. But the nightlife in Dar es Salaam is really awesome. It depends on what exactly you want to experience in the nightlife in Dar es Salaam. But if you have no ideas of what to experience in nightlife in Dar es Salaam and you have searched this video or you have come around this video, just don't worry. There's a lot of content about Dar es Salaam that I have and you haven't subscribed. So be sure to subscribe and enjoy other videos if you want to come to Tanzania or most of you come. Make sure you let me know so as we can share some ideas or probably get you included in my videos and you share your experience i'm really excited to welcome those foreigners who are actually coming to tanzania and i'm not charging anything actually so just come and contact me i'll be happy to make new friends who are coming from abroad till then we'll meet next time bye bye see ya so before i literally record this video i just want to make a thumbnail what should i do like Unbelievable, right? And like, um, uncensored or something? I don't know. What should I say? Like, something uncensored? Or like, what should I, what should I do with the thumbnail? Like, like, or what should I? I don't know. Like, like you know those thumbnails that they do in video, probably. Figure out something like a good thumbnail. Like, seriously. No, it should be funny. Like, unbelievable what happens in nightlife there or something. Anyway, that's just for the thumbnail.